Hey guys, this is Jim from the Paint PT. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today we're going to go over again the link between emotions and pain in the brain and make that connection so you guys can start to first understand and then second apply the understanding into how you're approaching this on a daily basis. So the link between pain and emotion lies in the brain and the research I'm going to link a couple studies here too as well just to support what I'm saying but what we know now is that this amygdala uh, this part of your brain the limbic brain is really coming to the forefront and having links with pain and both acute pain and chronic pain as well as other uh, conditions somatic conditions of the body symptoms and we know that this amygdala is a center of emotions and this has been known for a long time so it's the fear center, it processes fear-related um, threats and dangers. It processes all your emotions, so anger, sadness. Any of your emotions gets generated from this amygdala. But what we found now in the science is that there's, there's parts of the amygdala. So now they're able to go and look at specific areas of the amygdala, like the peripheral amygdala, the central amygdala the left amygdala, the right amygdala, because there's two of them in your brain. And what we're finding now is that the central amygdala, we're thinking, is really having a nociceptive effect, meaning it has uh, connections to nociception and pain. And we now know, and what we're finding, and we're, we're just getting this evidence, is that the right amygdala is very much shown to be involved in acute conditions, and the left amygdala in chronic conditions, and it's very complex. But the bottom line is that, hey, look, this is an emotional center of your brain that is generating physical somatic symptoms like pain in your body. So this is the missing link between emotions and somatic symptoms or pain. And Dr. Sarno, as many of you guys know, or if you're not familiar with him, he wrote many books talking about how the underlying cause of many chronic conditions are, are emotions, repressed emotions. And so I believe this him to be correct, essentially, because now we know that this amygdala, when we could shut it off, there was a recent study on that too, it literally shut off physical pain, so very profoundly. And we're finding now not only is the amygdala the center of emotions and also contributing to somatic physical pain, we know the direction of the signal, which connects from this amygdala to what's called your prefrontal cortex I talk a lot about, there's more of a bi-directional signal, or one, sorry, a one-way signal coming from the amygdala to the cortex. So it's going one direction. It's coming into the cortex from the amygdala. And there's not a lot of reciprocal signal going back. All right, so we see this also in anxiety. A uh, study showed that as well, that there's more one-way signals from the amygdala to the cortex and not strong signals going back. So what this tells us is that your amygdala is speaking or it's reacting and it may be giving you physical symptoms in your body and you're interpreting these physical symptoms as some sort of physical issue or sensory problem and what we need to do is go a step deeper and look at what is the emotions that are behind or have been created by the amygdala but is coming out in a physical way okay and this is sort of our emotional awareness and expression dr schubert has done studies on this Mark Lumley, and they've shown it to be uh, more effective than CBD, the cognitive behavioral therapy, looking at this emotional awareness and expression. So our jobs in getting better from chronic pain when it's not caused by local injury is to get in touch more with these emotions. Okay, what are we feeling emotionally? And, and make that connection and start expressing and labeling what we feel in our body emotionally. Okay, so that connection you make when you say, hey, I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling angry and mad, and you own it, you acknowledge it, you feel it, that's your prefrontal cortex sending a message back to the amygdala now. Amygdala's already fired off. What we're not doing is responding and saying, well, what is this? We're getting caught at the sensory level of physical pain. We're not moving to the emotional level of it. So this is our job, and this is what I help people with. It takes a lot of practice and work for people to become more aware of their emotions, be get more in touch with them, learn how to regulate their emotions. We know people with chronic pain, 
studies showing that the emotion regulation strategies people have is very much linked to chronic pains. Okay, so people who have difficulties with emotions are more prone to have chronic pain. Same thing with alexithymia, which I spoke about before. That's this inability or difficulty in feeling and expressing your emotions. Well, you're going to have physical problems. That's what those studies show. You're going to have physical pains. But remember, these pains are not physical. They're emotional. They're emotional pain coming out in a physical way. Like I said, the amygdala is the missing link, the missing piece. We've needed it all these years. We got it now. We, we totally got it. So that's why we got to start moving towards emotions because the amygdala is the emotional center of the brain. There's much more value there in you guys looking at your emotions than just focusing on the physical pain. I'll talk more about this in some other videos, but I just want to give you guys that understanding again. If you need help or support in moving towards emotions, learning how they feel in your body, identifying them, acknowledge them, reach out. That's my job. Help people get to that and learn to become more emotionally aware. Or we can say emotionally intelligent beings and not just be a thinking machine. Okay, so that's what we're looking to balance our thinking with our feeling. So we're in touch with our emotions during the day. We know our emotional state and we can, we can name it, we can label it, we can feel it. And that's getting in touch with our emotions. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.